boy, we really need some rain here, man. That is, we can't shoot this. That trough is just like a, there's no water, it's just dry, so we can't do that. We'll come back. If it rains, hope it does. So I'm gonna grab just a tilt shift and go over that way. Just need the one lens. I shot the scene with a, a telephoto, like a straight 200 millimeter last time. And um, shooting at such an angle that it wasn't sharp all the way through. Because it can't be because of the focal length, focal length of the lens. But uh, with a tilt shift, that should give me some razor sharp rocks all the way through after front to back. And then we'll be able to adjust the shutter speed to get different water exposures. So. Oh yeah, that's great. I have a, an 85 tilt shift on here, which is a Nikon lens. And basically it enables you, watch this right here. See what that does? That will alter the plane of focus. So I can actually adjust this to match the angle I'm shooting the subject at to get maximum sharpness without stopping all the way down. So I can shoot at several f-stops, get various speeds of water, um, and get everything razor, razor sharp. So we'll do one more. That's not bad, we'll do one more. But if you look at this on a, um, like at a, like in Photoshop or software at 100%, We'll try that here. We'll try that here. It'll look razor sharp because of that lens. Let's try one here and see what we have. So we're going to go in. Instagram's pretty good on that. So we're going to magnify it. Look at that detail in there. That's a very high magnification. Look at that. It's all the way back there. And then we're going to come in. This is, this is not sharpened in the camera, by the way. All the details pretty good. Well, better than pretty good, it's tremendous. And then when you apply your sharpening uh, in Photoshop, then you'll see um, how sharp that is. We're gonna do one more, because it is getting bright out here for some reason. Gonna open it up uh, one more third of a stop. And fire off one more. But this is, uh, you know, the water's very low. And uh, we're gonna come back here after a rainfall if we can. There should be one, I hope, they've been calling for one for months. Yeah, this is good. Now right now we're in very bright sun with a very dark, shooting in the dark shade. So it's gonna be slightly bluish. So I'm gonna go in now, and I can't do this later, but I wanna see it now. Adjust the uh, white balance to, uh, in this case, we'll do one cloudy, and then we'll do one shade, because I wanna see it as we do it. All right, this is uh, what we just did. And then we'll do one more with the cloudy white balance. Be a little more amber cast. It'll make the uh, greens speak out a lot more. Yeah. That's without. You see the greens come up a little bit? Now we're gonna go to shade. And, and that's, that's kind of borderline. Sometimes it's too much. And uh, in this case, it might be, but we can, we can shoot it now in shade and then uh, turn it back a little bit in raw. Just dial it back a little bit so it isn't quite as amber. Because it, it's really like an 81 EF almost. So this is the first one. See how blue that is? And then we're gonna go that one, a little greener. I don't know if you can see it or not. And that, look at, it, look at that, how it comes up there. That's bright sun. That's cloudy. And look at that, just jumps right out. That's shade, that's the best one. And that is again, because we're photographing in a deeply recessed shaded area on a very bright sunny day. So it's bright blue sky, but we're shooting into a shaded area, which, which gives you a very blue scene. And I like moths to look bright green. And that's what that white balance does. So, uh, we're gonna move on down the hill.